Hey, how do students with lower GPAs win scholarships? I'm going to answer that question and tell you why you should maintain a higher GPA in this video. So technically, what is a lower GPA? Well, it depends on who you are and what you determine as your efforts to be. Most scholarship providers recommend that students maintain at least a 3.0 GPA. GPA meaning grade point average. Now, that you can look at it different ways from your cumulative GPA to your core class GPA to your in major GPA, what have you. We're just gonna base this video based on your cumulative GPA. The sum of your grades from all years prior to current semester, all those things mixed together, what is your current GPA, your cumulative GPA? Now, keep in mind, a lower GPA is determined by your typical standing. So for instance, for me, I graduated from high school with a 4.2 GPA. I was ranked number seven in my class. I would consider a lower GPA for me personally being like a 3.4, knowing how high my standard was. But in this video, we're going to look at a lower GPA of being like a, a C average, maybe a 2.0, anywhere between a 2.0 to a 2.9. So let's break it down. How do students with a lower GPA win scholarships? Well, first of all, you have to look at your profile. Who are you as a student and a potential scholarship applicant? And this is an example. This is a person, for instance. Let's just pretend this is you. Now, let's say you have a 2.7 GPA. You have more than 50 hours of community service. I'm trying to make sure we got some light on me. Um, so y'all can see me. You have more than 50 hours of community service. You're majoring in business and you identify as a white male who is from Nebraska. Now out of these four different parts of your profile, four different categories in your profile, you can win scholarships for different reasons. So let's say your GPA was low, you have a 2.7 and you don't want to look for scholarships based on GPA because you may not have a higher chance of winning them, especially if you're competing with someone who has maybe a 3.0 or 3.5. So you're like, I don't want to apply for GPA based scholarships or academic based scholarships. I want to look at scholarships based on my major or my community service hours or my identity. You can do that. So how do students with lower GPA win scholarships? You play to your strengths. Which area can you talk about best? Your identity, maybe growing up in Nebraska, um, being a white male. I don't know if that's not the case for you. Plug and play where it fits. Uh, maybe you can talk about your community service, your business and your intentions to major in business or why you're majoring in business. All scholarships don't ask for a GPA. And the two scholarships we shared on this channel, the YFL scholarship, the Youth Financial Literacy Foundation scholarship, and the Taco Bell Live My scholarship didn't ask for a GPA. So once again, play to your strengths. What can you really talk about in your essay? It doesn't have to be GPA based. Now let me give you a good rule of thumb. So if you're looking to know which GPA you should maintain when applying for scholarships, a good GPA is a 3.0. 3.0 is a B average. That's a good GPA to maintain when you're applying for scholarships. A great GPA is a 3.5. A 3.5 allows you to be competitive and really put your name out there when you're sending in these applications. Because I'm gonna tell you, this is the re these are the reasons why you should maintain a higher GPA when you're in school. First of all, scholarships are a competition. This is not just giving it to the person who has the best name on paper or whatever. This is a competition. You are submitting a piece of yourself or a piece of your work to an organization to hopefully allow them to, to encourage them to invest in you, to help you obtain your education with little to no student loan debt. And so you wanna put your best foot forward. Reason number two, you should maintain a higher GPA in school is because you wanna have a standard of excellence all across the board. How do you operate? I've heard it say, said before that how you do one thing is how you do everything. I don't necessarily agree with that on a personal note, but I do believe in having a standard of excellence for everything you do. So if you play sports and you wanna maintain your starting position on the team, then you should have that same type of mentality or philosophy in the classroom. I wanna be the best of the best in the classroom. And remember, your number one competitor when you're competing in anything is yourself. So always seek to make progress don't necessarily seek to be perfect. Y'all remember the mindset is progress, not perfection. So maintain a higher GPA because you have a standard of excellence. I'm gonna do my best in everything I do. I'm not gonna slack off in any areas. Number two, keep all doors open. When I was looking at which schools I would go to to get my master's degree, this was like my sophomore year of college, 
I said, I was calling them and saying, hey, if I have this GPA, will it allow me to automatically win scholarships to obtain my masters? And a lot of people I called said, yeah, if you want to come here to get your MBA, you have a 3.5, will automatically deduct your tuition price by 50% because you did well in your undergraduate academic career. And so keep all doors open. You don't know what your work or your effort can do for you before you step in the room. So let me say this, your transcript and your resume may hit some people's desk before you even step into their office. And if it looks good on paper, they may be willing to open some doors for you um, without actually having met you. So keep all your doors open. Number four, position yourself to win. This goes in line with um, number number three, keep all doors open, but I wanna bring it back to what we just talked about with the scholarship profile. If everything looks good right here, your GPA is great, your major, your identity, service, you stayed out of trouble, all those things, you're placing yourself in a position to increase the likelihood of you actually winning that scholarship. Now I understand everyone has different reasons why their GPA is where it currently is. I get it, but I'm asking you to make progress. Just do your best, leave it all on the table, and play to your strength. So if you have a lower GPA, always remember that there are scholarships available for students who have a 2.0 GPA, students who have a 1.0 GPA, 3.0, what have you. You just have to do your research. And the best place to start researching is Google. Go Google scholarships for students who have a lower GPA and plug it in and see what you find. You can actually win scholarships if you don't have a 3.0 or a 4.0. You just need to do your research and put in the work. I'm here to help you. Drop a comment below if this video helped you or if you have any questions, let me know. You can also contact me if you wanna have a one-on-one -on -one conversation and join me every single Sunday as I go live on Doe for Degrees YouTube channel at three o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time to answer any questions you have about scholarships. I can't wait to see you soon. Have a great day.